Hi guys, it's Jackie Grant, we Grant Fitness and Health, and this is the Change and Grow Wellness Show, the show for you, the busy professional who wants to live a healthier, happier life with increased energy and productivity. This show is powered by the amazing men and women of Positive Programme. And tonight we're going to talk about the simple way to bring meditation into your life. Our guest tonight is Joe, uh, see, Joy Kea and and she is a spiritual leader, spiritual leader and a leadership development coach. And her passion is to help others dis- discover their passion. So welcome, Joe. Joy. Thank you so much, Jackie. Thank you. So happy to be here. Thank you for having me. So, Joy, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got to be doing what you're doing. Yes, I'd be happy to. Well, I am like a lot of stories out there. I started in corporate America, um, was in leadership, developing teams, um, building programs to train and do all those wonderful things for corporate the corporate world. And in 2011, I just knew I needed a change. And so I decided to venture out and do my own thing. And I had always had a spiritual practice using meditation as a foundation. So that's where I began. I started teaching meditation classes. And then that became more of like a mentorship with one-on-one clients. And long story short, I started bringing my leadership aspects from my previous life in corporate America into that and blended the soulful leadership Um, you know, revolution of sorts, trying to help leaders be spiritually focused and grounded in their own life so they can make the greatest impact. Okay, that's brilliant. So, Joy, tell us a little bit about meditation. Where does it originate? What, you know, where did it start? Well, it's been around forever. Um, Most origins will point towards India. And so a lot of our gurus and, um, and, you know, our different philosophers are based in Eastern religions and uh, meditation is really yoga. Um, and that's one of the, the important pieces, I think, to remember when I first learned meditation, my guru was calling it yoga. So imagine my confusion when yoga places started popping up everywhere. I was so confused. I thought everyone was doing breath work and meditating. Mm. And then I found out they were moving their bodies and I was like, oh, okay. Um, so but meditation is definitely uh, founded in spiritual practice and in the concept of mindfulness, right? Like being still with oneself. So, yeah. Yeah. So what is the difference between meditation and mindfulness? Because it seems that meditation has been around mindfulness came along. You know, what is the difference between them? Such a great, great point. And I think you're definitely right. I think mindfulness came along for us to understand meditation on a more basic level. So meditation is, I guess the best way to explain it for me is mindfulness is really about stilling the mind, being focused on your breath. And just allowing your thoughts to be aware, right? Aware of the body, aware of the breathing in and out. And it's always a very subtle approach to meditation. It's a great introduction to meditation. And then meditation itself is an extension of the mindfulness state. So you could be looking at, you know, five minutes of mindfulness and then you could begin to meditate from there. Meditation is always going to be a deeper awareness. Also, you're looking at a longer period of time. And then there are things like visualizing in meditation, um, doing guided meditations, things of that nature that can expand the experience and Mm. can heal with that. And that's where you kind of get into like that hypnotherapy concept as well. So hypnotherapy is like you know, a a sister or a brother of meditation too. So we have a really beautiful scope that we can look at, but meditation is always going to be a little bit longer and you're going to experience a bit of um, different visualizations or just an inner peace feeling where mindfulness, you're just really stilling the mind and giving yourself a pause for a few moments before you get back to your day. Okay. So is, is it, best to start with mindfulness then before meditation yes i jackie i'm a huge advocate of start with mindfulness you know because it is like building a muscle it's going to take time to become comfortable with it and feel a little bit more like you're ready to grow and expand and do it for longer periods of time so starting with mindfulness is always a great gateway okay brilliant 
Okay. So I know that some people have asked me around, um, you know, they find it difficult to concentrate. They really find it difficult to, you know, clear the mind and, um, you know, just kind of empty the mind, empty the voices that come in. You know, what kind of tips and strategies do you think that you could tell people to start off with, really? Yeah, absolutely. It's such a great question. So one of the biggest things is to be patient with yourself. And if you think of it this way, your mind is consciously aware of your meditative state. It's kind of like when we're drifting off to sleep at night, our conscious mind checks out, right? It, 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 goes, to, it goes into a rest state. So mm. when we are in mindfulness or in meditation practice, our conscious mind is now aware and awake and active and part of the experience. So think of it this way. Think of it like a muscle. So to, to really tone a muscle, we have to do repetition. So mm -hmm. when, you're, when you're trying to get the concentration down, be patient with yourself and know that you're growing a muscle. That's like the number one um, mm -hmm. rule of thought that I like to put out there and instill. So if you could just keep that in mind, and then continue the more often you do it, right? Repetition is key. So continue mm. to repeat. So if you are just starting out, you may say, okay, I'm going to meditate twice a week. And then maybe on, maybe do that for two weeks. And then the third week, do it three times a week, that kind of thing. And start to build that muscle. You're going to notice that the mind is going to start to still and mm. be able to focus more. And I, I, you know, I call it monkey mind where you kind of move from branch to branch, thought to thought. And the more you meditate, the easier it is to start to center mm. the mind and focus on mm. what we're doing versus on what, what we're going to make for dinner or what are, what we have to, else we have to get done on our to-do list. Okay. So um, that's probably the number one thing. And then as far as clearing the mind, I do recommend the breath work. I feel like breath work, what it does is it allows you to focus on something because you're focusing mm. on breathing in and out versus just sitting there waiting for something to happen. <laughs> I'm not sure what that something is. I think that's probably the most frustrating thing. So starting with breath work, again, building that muscle is going to be the most essential, in my opinion, the most essential way to go about it um, to help build that and be able to clear the clutter and, also remember that when when you're meditating, that's the whole point is to clear the mind, right? So clearing the clutter is part of the process. It's almost mm -hmm. like when you want to go through your closet and get rid of the old clothes. Well, we're going into the closet of our mind and we're allowing ourselves to clear the clutter one by one. So things that have been stressing you out or a worry that's been on your mind, that stuff's going to come up and it should. So recognizing it and going, oh, yeah, I'm totally having this thought around this this thing that's, I guess, been on the back of my mind for days. And now yeah. it's coming up in my meditation. It's completely normal. And I and I feel like that's probably the biggest piece of it. I think we're, we are in the belief that we're somehow doing it wrong, but really yeah. we're doing it right. <laughs> so allow that yeah. to happen. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So would you say in terms of... Um, starting off is it best to go to a class or is it best to try an app or is it best to try something on YouTube what would you say would be the best way to start I such great questions there are some really great meditation apps out there I know insight is one that has been a favorite with some of my clients so maybe you guys can check that one out um, but I am not a huge fan of hopping on YouTube uh, only challenge with YouTube, you'll have some amazing meditations and then you'll have ones that never quite go anywhere or they derail midway and then you're kind of left frustrated. And so for mm. someone who's just trying to start a practice, I really recommend going to a source that feels, you know, like at least have a referral or, you know, find out from a friend, do some research, look at the top ones that are out there, but try to find a teacher or a program that is structured in some way that can help you start from beginner to, you know, working through into like, you know, improving your skill. And mm -hmm. um, now with that said, I'm going to make sure that you guys get free uh, meditations here too. So we'll make sure you guys get the hookup. Um, but I definitely would do your best to get in with um, some kind of guided meditation 
And, you know, yoga, I have to say, there's a lot of great yoga teachers out there and they will start the meditation or in the, or close or not, um, start their yoga or in their yoga, right? Yeah. With meditation. And that is a great way to start as well. Brilliant. Great. So what are the key benefits that people are going to start to see in terms of improvements and, and like, you know, how long is that going to take? Great, great question. So it depends what's happening in your life. Sometimes we reach out for a mindfulness or meditation practice when we have high levels of stress and we know we've got to do something different, right? Mm -hmm. Just like when we decide to hire a health coach, right? Our health might be at risk um, where we have no energy. So oftentimes, same thing with meditation, we really feel the need um, because we feel some distress within our body or in our mind. And with that said, it's going to determine based on the individual, you know, what, how quick you'll see the benefit. Um, but let's talk about, and I, I would say anywhere from like two to three weeks, you'll start seeing a difference, but just based on the individual. Okay. The beautiful thing about this though, too, is once you start a meditation practice and you start to really attune to allowing your mind to do this, it, your, your mind does remember. So let's say you start meditating and you do it consistently for about three months and then you totally just stop doing it because, you know, we do that. And then yeah. you're about, you start doing it again. It'll actually, your, your mind's going to remember. So that's a really cool thing I want to let you guys know. So no, no stress if you, if you, if you start and then you derail and then you start again, it's totally okay. And I think you're still training your mind. You're, it's still improving and helping you. Okay. But with that said, let's talk about some of the great benefits. One of my favorite benefits is it reduces stress. We all have plenty mm. of that in our lives, right? And what it does for most people is it gives you objectivity. So you may be dealing with a situation that feels intense. Well, like we talked about, our mind will wander towards some of those things and we're able mm. to almost zoom out and look at that situation from a higher perspective. It's like our highest self can all of a sudden look mm. at that and we're not in that chaos. We yeah. look at it and be like, wow, okay, I don't have to, you know, react to the situation. I can walk through it differently. So it's going to decrease stress in completely. Um, it does mm. also have health benefits. I know a lot of research has been done around that. And and I don't have specific stats for you, but there's a ton of research. I mean, you could, um, you know, like the Mayo Clinic and every, you know, there's been a lot of different um, Harvard studies and things like that. So there's a lot of research out there if you want to Google it on the different health benefits, but I know for sure, of course, the stress level, everyone knows that stress is a huge thing on health. Okay. So that one. And then the next thing that I really love is productivity. So we actually are more productive in our day to day when we're meditating and you would not mm. think that's the case, but I am more productive. I get more done and I'm less likely to be distracted by everything, all the fray in our lives. I'm less likely to be distracted. So with that, meditation is going to make you a more productive individual and less stress. So overall, you're going to be happier and just have a sense of fulfillment, which is great. Great. So Joy, what is the best time of day to do it? Is it morning? Is it evening? You know, when is when is the best time? That's such a great question. I do get asked that one a lot. It really, it, it's, it's an independent decision, truly. Mm -hmm. I have my favorite, my favorites in the morning. And the, I think I've already kind of known why I can look at my, when I wake up, I'm fresh, I'm alert. And studies say we are most effective the first three hours that we're awake every day. So if I'm the most effective those first three hours, it's like I'm priming my brain to be completely sharp and focused. And like we said, productivity is a benefit. So imagine mm. it's like super powering. It's like putting, you know, really great fuel in your vehicle. You're going to, you're going to get further and it's going to be more efficient. So I recommend morning meditation, even five minutes of mindfulness practice is going to make a huge difference in your life. Mm. Okay. Mm. Brilliant. So, you know, you said, um, about using breath work in your, yes. you know, in your meditation. So I'm assuming in terms of the breath work, that's kind of calming you down. Then it gives you something to focus on. Yes. Um, 
what about doing affirmations at the time at the time of doing meditation Do, you know does that work as well or yes great question i love that one absolutely you know as you're building the meditation practice especially from the beginning stage right so we would mostly want you to start with breath work and then and then you can start adding extra things affirmations or mantras things that just lift you up and a reminder mm right, of your focus for the day, or um, that you are going to be effective and efficient, or that you love your body. I mean, there's so many benefits that you can apply in an application mm. um, in meditation. So absolutely 110%. And what I love about that is you can have an affirmation, and maybe you have a sticky note, and you stick it in your daily planner, or somewhere where you're going to see it, and you can have that affirmation with you, throughout the day. And whenever mm. you say affirmation, you're going to remember that nice moment that you had at the start mm. of your day. It just mm. continues to ground and center you. So I always love the application of affirmation and it's a great way, a great way to end your, your mindfulness or meditation set for sure. Great. Great. <laughs> Thanks, Joy. So Joy, what's your final thoughts and final you know, inspiration for people starting their meditation practice? Ah, yes. Um, well, I think there's a couple of things. So, you know, one of the things that I would love to touch on is, you know, how do we meditate, right? And I talked about the breath work. I talked about the difference of mindfulness and meditation, but you don't have to sit on a pillow in a dark room with a candle lit. Meditation can be done while you're on a nice walk. You know, um, it could be done on a park bench. It could be done in your cubicle at work. Like, I think what's so important to recognize is that there's no real rules anymore. And mm. there's even, you know, the concept of journaling or using a notebook to write out your thoughts and allowing that to be meditative. So meditation is expanding and changing and we're recognizing the true benefit is in just becoming aware of your thoughts and becoming aware of your breath and recognizing that you're in the moment versus mm -hmm. thinking about what has happened and what will happen. We're focused on what is happening in mm -hmm. that kind of practice. And so it really just becomes about awareness. And just allowing yourself to be open to what comes in front of you and then to be curious at what you're experiencing. So I've had some really um, fun experiences and just going on little walks with my dog and just feeling very inspired. I guess, you know, looking at nature as a reflection of life and, and you just you start to see things differently. Right. All of a sudden, a tree just mm. means something different when you allow yourself to be mindful. And so it's just kind of playing around with that and recognizing there's no set rule anymore. That meditation is not just sitting down on a pillow. Um, it's not always going to a yoga class. It is really about how you determine it's going to be. And um, the very last thing I want to touch on is people ask me all the time, how do I know if I'm doing it right? The, the answer really is you kind of don't. You just yeah. have to start day one. And work through that mental clutter that's going to show up and know that you're not doing anything wrong. You're doing it exactly as your mind and your experience needs to be. It's just a matter of we all have a start point and then we all have, you know, a direction to move forward. And, and I think guidance and, and having a mentor or someone like myself or finding someone that you trust is really helpful and it doesn't have to be you know a ton of your time it can be very very simple but it starts with five minutes a day that's brilliant joy yes because the people really do think that you've got to sit there like you know in an upright chair and that's the yeah. way you have to do it yeah so that's really useful to, to to for people to know that you can do walking meditation you could do journaling mm -hmm. you know it gives everyone a kind of a different way to bring it into their life so that thank you very much for that yes absolutely so joy where can people find you what are your what are your website everything like that just you know name that out for us beautiful um well it's under joy kaya so i'm under joykaya.com that's j-o-i-e-k-y-a Dot com and I'm under Joy Kaya on Instagram, Facebook. You can kind of find me everywhere. And I'm also on SoundCloud and there's six to eight 
free meditations. You guys can start listening right away. There's one on mindfulness. And there is one that I specially created for you guys called Love Our Body. So we'll make sure you guys have um, access to all of that. That's all there on SoundCloud for you. And um, on my website as well, I do have a starter program for it's a 30-day meditation challenge. So when you're on the site, maybe that's something that sparks an interest for you. You can look into that as well. Brilliant. And is that three day, three day challenge free? Yeah. The 30 day challenge, um, it has a, it's a small fee, um, but it's a great beginner course. And then the SoundCloud has all the free meditations. Okay. Brilliant. Yes. So you, you, you covered my final question, which was it, have you got any freebies? So that's really <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of freebies. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, no, I want you guys to feel like you have a starting point and, um, you know, just somewhere to begin. And every meditation that's there is meant for the beginner and maybe like the beginner who is now moving forward. And, and you'll kind of see by how long the meditations are. So start with the shortest ones and then move your way up to the longer ones. I think there's one up to 20 minutes on there. So it's not for everybody, but, you know, five to 10 minutes is a great starting point for anyone. Brilliant. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, so thank you, Joy, for being on tonight. So it's been really interesting learning, you know, just some simple practical strategies that we can put in place in terms of, you know, bringing in mindfulness, meditation, the benefits of it, yes. you know, are, are, are just key, especially when we're talking about productivity and stress levels, mm -hmm. you know, because we're all rushing about all the time and we just need to stop and give ourselves that time to to focus and to concentrate on ourselves and give ourselves that little yes. benefit of clarity so say yeah. thank you thank you joy yeah. and it's been amazing so guys we'll be back next week with someone else new to talk <laughs> about different things it just depends what i feel like next week and so yeah it's been great so thank you. take care and we'll see you soon. <laughs>